Thank you for logging on to the TeamCast for the week of Monday, December 14th through Friday the 18th. Hello, I'm Mr. Andrews. And I'm Miss Worst. And here's what's happening on our team this week. Hello, fabulous fifth graders. Wow, for the upcoming week, we are kind of wrapping up our research for our ecosystem unit. We're in week five of our lab notebooks and we are looking at RQs number seven and eight. It's all about becoming an expert on the ways ecosystems across the earth are interdependent, but we're also going to explore at, uh, our ecosystems, how they are at risk, what are threats to them. We have really worked hard on researching and making sure that we have a wide variety of books that we are uh, reading from. You have handed in your RQs, number one, two, and three. If you haven't yet, please do so this week. You should have gotten feedback from me so that you can add or change uh, your information. But like I said in class this week, these RQs are dynamic. They're ever-changing. They're things that you can add and um, uh, tweak along the way. So keep on reading, keep on researching. Have you added some great wow facts to your chart? What about glossary? Are there some great words that you can add to your glossary pages? Um, that's all part of becoming an expert, which is what we're, we are doing. Once we get back from winter break, we'll be putting all of these research questions and organized information into our final project. So you'll want to make sure that your information is detailed and explained well and has lots of good uh, description so that when we do go back to those uh, organizer sheets, you'll look back and you'll be able to pull from that as you pull your, your final project together. Don't forget about the ecosystems quiz. If you have not completed that, please make sure you are doing that as well. Um, keep reading, keep researching, and I look forward to working with you on week five goals. And we will be using our exemplar text pack with research question uh, text for number seven and number eight. In addition to our ecosystems uh, writing and reading, we're also going to be looking at some social studies this coming week, um, all about the beginning colonies. Remember when we did our Explorer project? Well, after that sort of age of exploration, we had the main European countries that sponsored those explorers, they sent over people to colonize the new world. So we're going to look at the early colonies of North America. I look forward to a great learning week together. This week in math, live instruction is going to be completing topic F on Monday with lesson number 23. It began last week with lesson 19, where we had two digit divisors, three and four digit dividends, and we also found out in lesson 22 and practiced on into lesson 23 sometimes we're going to have more than one digit in our answer or our quotient. We're going to have a review on Tuesday and then students are going to have their quiz on topic F on Tuesday. On Wednesday and Thursday of this week, we're going to begin a new portion of the vision with topic G. This is where we're going to again have two digit divisors, three and four digit dividends, but we're going to have decimals through the hundredths. So if we have decimals in our dividend, that means we're going to have decimals in our quotient or answer. And so learning how to place that properly is going to be very important in lessons 24 and 25 this week. In science this week in our team, we're beginning a new unit. Now we'll continue reviewing things in weather. You can be assured of that. But we're going to be talking about the human body systems now. We'll start this topic with a conversation about unicellular organisms and multicellular organisms. We'll compare and contrast the two. So it's going to be a great unit of study. I look forward to, to starting it with you this week. Hey, Team Andrews Worst. It is time for 
worse wow. All right, you wordsmiths. Congratulations to those of you who got the hinky pinkies from a couple of weeks ago. If you got for Daisy Control Flower Power, that was it. And a tiny spaceship is a pocket rocket. Well done. This week we have four. This one's a hink pink. No, hinky pinky. Water movement. Hinky pinky. Water movement. The next one is a hinky pinky as well. Mythical beasts cart. Mythical beast cart. And then the holiday words. This is our holiday uh, edition of the worst wow. We have a hinky pinky, a happy gift, a happy gift. And then a hink pink, a Dr. Seuss character's bird. A Dr. Seuss character's bird. Good luck. Worst wow, if you have any good guesses, send them to me through Canvas on the ELA page. This is Worst Wow out. Let's all have a great week together.